Hi everyone, I'm Maddie and welcome back to my channel. It is a gorgeous autumn day and right now I'm on the hunt for the perfect spot to do a bit of a crafty challenge. It's actually quite warm today but the leaves are definitely falling and everything is turning those gorgeous shades of orange and red but winter is around the corner and that's going to bring really cold weather and that can cause some big problems for our wildlife especially the birds. Cold snap in the weather can mean that birds need that little bit more energy from food to keep them warm, but that can be hard to find when there might be food shortages anyway and the days are shorter and darker, so it's harder to find food. But there is something we can do. And that is to put out bird feeders. It's a really simple and fun way to help the local wildlife. We benefit because we get to watch the birds in our back garden and we help them out by giving them a bit of extra food. So my challenge today is to make three different types of bird feeders and this spot looks good. But the trick is I can only use recycling. We throw so much stuff away every single day, but some of that stuff can be recycled, meaning it can be turned into new things. So I gathered some of these bits and I figured before I recycle them, why don't I reuse them first and make the most out of them? Before you get started, you're also going to need some bird food. I've got some bird seed and some peanut butter, but I've just left a link down below so you can see what we should and shouldn't feed birds. I've also got some garden twine or some string will do, a butter knife, a pen, a wooden spoon and some scissors. For our first bird feeder, I'm going to use these plastic bottles. All you need to do is get a pen and draw some small circles on the lower part of your plastic bottle. So you end up with two circles opposite each other and now you have to cut them out. But this bit can be a little bit fiddly, so ask a grown-up if you need some help. And there, and one there. And now we need one more hole, you can make this one slightly bigger and put it just above one of the other holes that you've already made. And just like the others, cut that one out too. And what you've done is you've made two small holes that you can put your wooden spoon through and this is made a perch and then this larger hole here is where the bird seed can fall out and the bird can peck at it. How good is this? The spoon even creates a little area for the bird seed to land on. But now we'll put the lid back on and then get a piece of garden string and tie it around the neck of the bottle and then you'll be able to hang it up. One recycled bottle bird feeder. The next one we're going to make is my favourite because it's a little bit messy and we're going to use these recycled toilet rolls and to kick things off we're going to spread peanut butter on them. Peanut butter is really high in calories so that is great for birds especially in those cold winter months when they might be in need of a quick fix of energy. I've completely covered the toilet roll in peanut butter. Now I'm going to dip it in the bird seed. So the peanut butter is acting like glue and all of the bird seed is sticking to it. That looks so good. And then we want another piece of string, about that long will do. And then you just thread the string through the toilet roll and tie it in a knot. And here you have it our toilet roll bird feeder and that will hang up anywhere whether that's on the branch of a tree or on a fence or even on a balcony. The last one is the simplest of all and all you're going to need is an egg carton. I'm just taking off the top so that I'm left with the tray where the eggs go and these are going to become little spaces where I can pile in bird seed but so we can hang it up I'm going to make four little holes in the corners just using some scissors. Again, this bit can be a little bit fiddly, so you might want to ask a grown-up for help. Now getting the string, I'm going to cut two pieces about the length of a forearm, and then I'm just gonna thread the string through diagonal holes and secure it in place with a little knot, like this. Now I'm just going to get another piece of string to do the same on the other side. 
and now we can hang it in different places all over the garden but of course we need to fill it with bird food. And here is our third and final bird feeder. All of these were really fun and simple to make, but now I'm heading home so I can hang them in the garden to see if we can attract any garden birds. And now we watch and wait. You might find that the garden birds are a little bit shy at first, but that's just because they're getting used to the fact the bird feeders are here. And if it rains or you notice the bird feeders starting to get a little bit mouldy or yucky, then you can take this one down and give it a rinse and just fill it back up with more seeds. But with the two made of cardboard, best to chuck those in the compost and make brand new ones. This challenge was inspired by one of many STEM activities you can find on Explorify, which is a free resource of creative, engaging science activities that have all been designed to spark curiosity. And the website was developed for primary school teachers, but there's no reason why you can't try them at home too. So if this sounds like something you're interested in, then all you need to do is sign up and log in to get access to a whole host of activities but for now I'm going to keep a BDI on these bird feeders I hope you enjoyed the video subscribe for more just like this stay curious and I'll see you soon bye